So last year a story came out and absolutely broke the internet where this police officer named Megan Hall was fired from her position after it came out that she was smashing multiple guys on the police squad. There were many stories and videos that went viral online. Of course the memes were in the thousands and posts making jokes about her, her husband, and their life went viral on any social media you can imagine. In general, she got absolutely cooked by the internet for months. And in the last update we had in this situation, she went on a news segment to announce that she would be filing a federal lawsuit against the city of Laverne. What happened to me during my employment at Laverne's Police Department, it should never happen to anyone. They isolated me, they shunned me, they accused me, and they blamed me for becoming a victim. Now last time this was the initial reaction to this information going viral. Doing something while you're at work, I mean for everybody else who goes to work, you know, we're held to that same standard. Jerry Howell says he was in disbelief when first reading the report. I mean, yeah, they're on company time, they're using that taxpayer money, and they weren't patrolling the streets, they were patrolling some pussy. It's just bad, it's like a stain, I guess. It'd be a wake up call for Laverne, but also a wake up call for our police department to uh, take care of themselves. And you guys will see here pretty soon that the entire department in Laverne seems to be completely corrupt. Of course, like I said, she did the interview where she announced her lawsuit. And finally, this would be the outcome where she's now getting this $500,000 settlement. As five officers and then the police chief all fired, the city then found itself facing a lawsuit filed by a former female officer. Well, tonight word comes the city has settled the case with a hefty payment. Now the good thing is guys, when it comes to this payment, the taxpayers will not be footing the bill. And this apparently is going to be coming out of some insurance policy the police department has. After that scandal, former police officer Megan Hall sued the city. Then tonight, over a year later, the city of Laverne held a special meeting in which they decided they would pay out Megan Hall $500,000, officially ending that lawsuit. I'm telling y'all, I think she could have got a lot more money. It took less than five minutes. No. Alderman Haas? Aye. Alderman Haas? Aye. Vice Mayor Dunn? Aye. Motion passes. For the Laverne City leaders to say yes, they'll pay former police officer Megan Hall half a million dollars. I'm sorry, but can you guys even see that picture and just not laugh a little bit? Like this shit went so viral. What message is that saying to uh, all the other employees? That you can sleep with the whole squad and also be half a million dollars richer? Alderman Dennis Waldron was the only dissenting vote. He's sending a message out to uh, to everybody in the world, said, come to Laverne, S sue Laverne because they're going to settle. So this man right here seems to be the only one that actually stood on business, basically saying we're not going to bow down to the feet of the local hoe. Reports detail between officers on duty and on city property, intimate photos and videos shared among officers, and silence from the police chief. And it's very likely that she was not the only female officer within this department engaging in these type of activities. I'm thinking that this problem was actually a lot more widespread, and so they probably just wanted the investigation to end before more and more shit was uncovered. While I was aspiring, to protect my community, the Laverne Police Department was not protecting me. I mean, let's not act like you were some saint. You guys will see pretty soon here that she was quite complicit in all of this different sexual activity. I mean, the fact that her husband actually stayed with her after this whole scandal went public is just absolutely insane to me. Now in her lawsuit, I found some very interesting information in regards to how all of this came about. And after reading the filing, I'm actually surprised that she didn't get more money because of the power levels involved, as well as the digital footprint of evidence the chief of the station left behind. In this situation, you really have four main players. Of course, you have Megan Hall, Sergeant Lewis Powell, Sergeant Henry McGowan, and most importantly, Chief Burrell Davis. And while these might be the four main people, keep in mind that she also had relations with him, him, and even him. Now let me take you guys back to day one, where Megan Hall shows up excited to start her career as a 24-year-old married woman. She claims that from the very start, the chief in charge told her to lie about past mental health issues. When they conducted a psychological evaluation on her during the interview process, she of course gets the job, and a bunch of other officers apparently start flirting with her right off the bat. The aforementioned Sergeant Lewis Powell was one of her supervisors, and this is apparently the first man that she would have a 
sexual relationship with. Apparently one morning he told her to go to the extra training office for some jujitsu lessons and they ended up partaking in a whole nother workout. This relationship would continue for months and out of all the guys that she would eventually be with, she definitely seemed to get the closest to him and it sounds like he would even get possessive over her. Now word would obviously spread around the department that she was giving it up and eventually she would go to a Memorial Day weekend party where she would apparently be the only woman invited. Well by the end of the night, she hooks up with this guy Officer Maglico, literally minutes after they put his wife to sleep while the party raged on. After having sex, they eventually get back into the hot tub with several other officers, and everyone watches them while he does wild things to her using his fingers. This news spreads all over the department, there were also explicit videos and pictures of her being passed around, and Sergeant Powell was apparently pissed. Hall claims this is when he really started to demand that she continue to be with him, at this time, Sergeant Henry McOwen would then allegedly offer her payment to create an OF page, as well as Feet Finder, where Hall says he wanted to watch her with other men. She also claims that Sergeant McOwen offered her a promotion to sleep with him, which she apparently did. So at this point, she's been with all kinds of guys, and everyone around the office knows it. They've even seen pictures and videos and whatnot to back it up. And this is where the chief comes in, pretty much the head honcho here, and things get crazy. Understand the chief had a burner phone that he called Old Boy, where he would text Sergeant McOwen frequently. Chief Davis apparently got a picture of Hall sent to his burner phone, where she had Sergeant Lewis's foot in her mouth. To which he said, who dat? Hall. Lewis. He on it again. He swears he ain't. She nor her husband took that picture. She has a tight little ass though. Yup. The chief would then go on to say, the f Lou is saying to these hoes cause normal pimp shit ain't working. No f***ing clue. He killing it. Maybe goody shit. Gotta be. I can't do it. Gorilla pimp. Only way I know. Does she talk to you? No. She's already getting too much attention. Oh, I see. It's all good. I saved her for the last time. I wish I could tell her who she's f***ing can't do shit for her. I wish I could too. Then we could both play. So it sounds like both of these men wanted her attention badly and felt they had more power than Sergeant Powell within the department. Obviously, these text messages are evidence that he knew she was involved in a sexual relationship with one of her supervisors and chose to not do anything about it, which is a bad look when you're the one in charge. Over time, Chief Davis continues to receive explicit photos and videos of Megan Hall to this burner phone. Megan even goes as far as to tell Chief Davis directly that she is scared of Sergeant Powell and his possessiveness over her. Still, the Chief does nothing but begin to speculate on how to save his own ass and then she still goes to a hot tub party with three male officers and dances around topless while they pour shots into her mouth. So despite her now formally complaining about these issues, she continued to put herself in these types of situations. Keep in mind doing all of this while married. She was basically letting these men do whatever they wanted to her both on and off the clock. Around the department, they knew an investigation was going to begin, and they seemingly wanted her gone. So Chief Davis terminated her after the behavior in the hot tub, with this story that obviously went super viral. So she then sues the city, the walls start coming down, and everyone starts getting investigated, and eventually Chief Davis and Sergeant McOwen are both terminated as well, with the burner phone text messages f***ing them in the end. After the investigation that got him fired, they would conclude, Chief Davis was aware of inappropriate sexual activity between officers, including superior officers and subordinates, as well as the shockingly widespread sharing within his department of nude photos and videos of female officers. Chief Davis admittedly received some of these inappropriate photographs and videos. He never voluntarily disclosed doing so. Chief Davis never reported this activity to the city's human resources department, nor did he discipline any of the officers involved. When Officer Hall was hospitalized on December 8th of 2022, after a self-deletion attempt by the way, Chief Davis did not report his prior knowledge of her sexual activity with Sergeant Lewis Powell. When Hall and Powell denied inappropriate activity during the initial investigation, Chief Davis did not disclose to Director Patton or others that he knew or even believed them to be lying. Finally, the documentary evidence available to us compels the conclusion that Chief Davis misled Director Patton in his January 6th interview and that he misled this investigation in his January 23rd interview. 
We find, therefore, that by failing to report or discipline officers engaged in inappropriate sexual activity, withholding information from city officials conducting the initial investigation, and facilitating a hostile work environment in the sharing of nude images of subordinate employees, Chief Davis impeded the initial investigation contrary to city policy and permitted, if not encouraged, conduct potentially contrary to state and federal law. We further find on the basis of the documentary evidence available to us that he impeded the city's January 6 investigation of his prior knowledge and this investigation by untruthful responses regarding his text message correspondence with Sergeant McOwen. Now let's be clear here, to me this woman is far from a victim. At the end of the day, she was married, while happy to be the community bus if you will, you know everyone got their ride. Now with that being said, everyone in this situation seems to be a complete sack of shit as well. A lot of these people were married, some of them had children, like all the way from the top to the bottom, it looks really bad. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm surprised that she didn't get more money. Was she for the streets? Absolutely. But was there also a lot of evidence against people more powerful than her? Yes there was, and in these type of situations, especially where the city is getting sued, a lot of times these payments are absolutely massive. Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. Y'all let me down below what you guys think about this crazy story. I'm sure it's just one of thousands that occur every single day. But as you guys know, it's been your boy the tan superman, and some other for the streets women out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace!